Now we're ready to install our pre-charged refrigerant units. Once you remove the caps, you're going to carefully inspect the fittings. First, inspect your threads and ensure that they're clean and undamaged to prevent any cross-threading when installing. Second, you want to inspect the O-ring sitting in this area. You want to ensure that it is sitting flat on the space and ensure it's not damaged to prevent any future leaks within the system. When connecting our pre-charged refrigerant lines to the condenser, it's important to inspect the threading on the valves also to ensure the threads are clean and undamaged. When connecting the refrigerant lines, it's important to first hand tighten the lines to prevent any cross threading. Follow the same procedure for both line sets. Now we are ready to install our inner communicating wires which come included with all our systems. All wires are already labeled for your convenience. Just match up your line, neutral, communication, and ground wires. Connect and ensure they're tight and snug. Once installed, tighten bracket so that all wires are secure. Now we're going to install the refrigerant lines on the evaporator section. Once again, hand tighten your refrigerant lines. Then, using two adjustable wrenches, completely tighten your refrigerant lines. When tightening, you will hear a release of refrigerant. This is normal. Repeat this process on your condenser. Now that the refrigerant lines are installed, it is important to perform a full leak check to ensure there are no leaks present in the system. Once a leak check has been performed, you are now ready to open both your service valves. Using a 3 16 hex key, open your valve till you feel resistance. Once the service valves are open, it's also a good idea to perform a leak check at the actual service valve to ensure that there's no refrigerant leaks.